Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Victoria 3 video. I have had some rest and decided what to do next. For those of you who have not seen the previous episodes, this is part 4 of my Great Ching series. What we've done previously is um, industrialize ourselves a bit, expand getting puppets, and now we are running a protection scam. Essentially, we're making countries into protectorates and then attacking said protectorates after the truce is over to switch them into puppets because it produces way less infamy. Although at this point we might just ignore the infamy and start expanding. Now, uh, two important things happened by the end of the last episode. Britain got a revolution and they're gonna lose to it. I'm worried about retaining East India Company as their subject because I have plans regarding it for later. Plans that would generate tons of infamy and would interfere with my protection scam, so I'm not, so I'm not doing anything about it for now. Another thing is the strike, general strike, and actually I made a mistake not addressing this immediately. But yeah, it's not gonna be that bad, right? Well, it's gonna be very bad. I read up on it and it's actually going to ruin our economy if we let it happen. So let's not let it happen. Everybody hates me. Yes, I know. We're gonna fix it. It's gonna take a while, but we're gonna fix it. I didn't pay enough attention to my government. And we got some nasty events. So what we need to pass is regulatory bodies. Industrialists and scholar officials hate it, which is terrible because scholar officials are my main support group. And trade unions endorse it. I can't get it without trade unions in the government, but if I try doing it, scholar officials will leave the government unless I get them to like me for some reason. They're very unhappy because of radical and all that. So that's not gonna work. So instead I have thought about it a lot. They're actually going to reform from an absolute empire to a constitutional one. By the way, an absolute empire should have an easier time passing stuff, passing laws, right? Since, you know, the emperor rules absolutely, but it's apparently not the case. So what we need to do is maintain monarchy, but change autocracy to a voting system first. What well, we could do, like parliamentary republic, but uh, I don't think that's what we want to do. I would prefer to be an empire, at least for now. Now, voting systems. There are a few here. Universal suffrage increases legitimacy. Census suffrage gives some authority, legitimacy, and, you know, and changes some other stuff. Wealth voting, more authority. Landed voting, even more authority. But landed voting has the most support. So that's what we're going for. And we need to do it quickly so that we can enact the other law after this. Industrialists, trade unions, literati endorse it. Now, can I maybe get another group that endorses it into the government, like the trade unions, or will my legitimacy be tanked by it? It will be tanked by it, but it would also increase the chances. Well, let's not reform the government just yet. Let's hope this is enacted quickly. Yeah, let's, let's get going. If I get any more colonial uprisings, I should Probably just abandon the colonies. I need my infamy low to run my protection scam. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil, right? Uh, I think I'll just abandon the colony. What territory do you want? Shinkasai and Tanga. Some population. Oh, I haven't paused. No money, impoverished standard of living. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to give up on the colonies, I think. Colonialism was a mistake. Was this Afghanistan wants a defense pact? Uh, are you perhaps ready to become my protectorate? Let's have a look. No. Or maybe somebody else is ready. Let's check. Sweden? No. Almost. Egypt? No. Ottomans? No. Moldavia? Greece? Almost. Spain? No. But we did get Netherlands, Portugal, Occitania, Brittany, Mexico. Oh yeah, that's a lot of nice options. Yeah, nothing changed. We're very close to getting some more protectors. It would be nice if it happened, but it's not that important. Let's back down. I don't care about colonies anymore. You can have the territory. Enact outlawed descent. Don't really want to do that. We want to be a nice place to live. No, people are un... We need to make sure people are happy. So our descent goes down. What are we missing? We're missing clothes, tools, electricity, furniture, sulfur, glass, tobacco, and engines. Well, and oil, but can't really get oil anywhere right now. Also, what am I subsidizing? Railways. Should I just not? Might be a good choice. Anyways, clothing. Ah, forgot to sort by peasants. Although maybe I should sort by profit. More tools. Yeah, always. I'm always gonna sort by peasants, I think. Just making sure there's enough work for us for that. Tools. What else was it supposed to be? Tobacco. And engines. Maybe some more phones. How about that? Yeah. And sulfur. Oh yeah, sulfur. Definitely sulfur. Just max it out in two places. Gold. Can we actually automatically expand gold mines? Can I get... I can actually get more gold mines. Definitely do, do that. Oh, I need some opium. Might be some addictions coming, but I need it for military stuff. And a lot of tobacco, please. 
And I probably need railways there. Although, speaking of railways, should I subsidize them? Actually, maybe I should just switch them to government run and subsidize them. And if they're doing well, I'll also get the money. Sure, government run railways. Make sure to prioritize the gold. Where is the gold? Here's the gold. Right, construction queue will be enough for a couple of years, maybe. Let's stop bankrolling Brazil. They're friendly and we have an obligation. That's enough. Same for Persia. Just make sure to remember them. Same for New Granada and for Egypt. Actually, anybody else we should be bankrolling. How about Venezuela? We're not that rich. We have oil, Venezuela. We don't even have the technology to get oil, it seems. So not really worth it. Well, I was working on Sokoto, but I really don't want to become our subject. Oh, Morocco might be worth it. Let's work on Morocco. Oh, this is Württemberg. Will it be a protectorate? Not yet. Oh, you are going to want to be a protectorate soon. Alliance. I don't really need an alliance, you know. Are you fighting anyone? We are feeling threatened. I will make you a protectorate and then... Stop this alliance. Although, mm, this is costing me influence. Well, maybe they will not seek other allies now that they have me. I misread the numbers. I thought they were not friendly yet. So they do not want to be a protectorate. When can I end this useless alliance? In a year. Radical France. <laughs> France is getting the same thing that happened to Britain. And Britain is about to lose to its revolt. Well, I'm not gonna get involved in France, am I? I knew people. British? Republic is formed. All right. The important thing, British Raj, still a subject? Yes, okay, everything's fine. Oh yeah, rivals, it's a new country. Rivalry, British Republic. I wish you could automate trade routes, just make everything profitable automatically. Although then the AI would need even more processing power. How are we doing on taxes? Do we want to switch any of them? Mm, this is looking profitable. I don't think I want to change anything. Okay, good. More police, please. Should have done that a long time ago. Way more police. Yeah, we have turmoil and all that. They'll help. Skyscraper survey complete. Excellent. Make the skyscraper in Beijing. There it goes. I'm not in a rush. Stop bang. Oh, I don't even have an obligation with Württemberg. I have a truce with Belgium. All oh, right, must have forgotten. I'm gonna stop subsidizing railways and see what happens. We're gonna get trouble. We might. We'll see. Radio unlocked. I don't really wanna get into radio. It's not necessary yet and I don't think I have enough phones. I have almost enough phones. So I guess I could get into radio if I made more electronics places. Right, what are we researching? Concrete foundations. You know what, in the current thingy with the strikes and all that, I think we should actually invest in society more. Like, uh, let's get more authority. Oh, expected standard of living from literacy. We don't want more standard of living expectations. No, 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 no. Oh, more taxation capacity. That's better. You winning yet? Yes, yes you are. Let's make sure what's happening in France does not happen to us. Don't really have many loyalists. I am investing in making the situation better. Please, be successful. Landed voting. And it was not successful. Defense pact from Austria. Who do you like? Who do you hate? I may actually accept this, although I don't need it and it costs me influence, so no. Sorry. Discord with the Confucian scholars. Ah, uh, we don't care about them. Maximize the enactment chance. 31%. It's not that bad, but I really am in a hurry. Okay, nice. More minting. Survey the stuff. We don't want that. No expeditions or anything. Ah. Rebellion is over. Excellent. Anybody else want to be a subject? Very close in Greece. Violent suppression, something, something. Radicals from discrimination, armed forces approval, or let them protest. That's a bad event. This Najd. Declare neutrality on that. Market access has gone down. Is it because I'm not subsidizing the railways? Might be. Does it matter? Maybe. Oh, here it looks like I just don't have enough railways. Why are you not making money? Ah, okay. Railways are important. Let's subsidize them. It, it hurts me to do it, but let's. More declared interests. Do I have interests in the entire world by now? Yes, I do. Okay. Oil discovered in Hanover. Interesting. I do need the oil. What is this? Tripolitania. Oh, a colonial uprising. Who would have thought? Tanga. Do we care about Katanga? No. No, we don't care about Katanga. I'm just gonna back down. Did I mention colonialism was a mistake? Oh, are you not... Are you cut off now? This is gonna be a problem. Oh, and I should be incorporating states. Shouldn't I? Can I cancel the colonies I'm doing? Please cancel the colonies. I just don't want them anymore. It's way too much work. Just maintain the ones that are fully colonized. All right, we need tool, glass, oil, opium, rubber. Oh, we need rubber as well. Working on tools and all that. Let's work on a rubber. Oh, and fruit as well. Oh, I shouldn't be building here. I'm going to need to abandon this soon, aren't I? Yeah, it's not that expensive. Tripolitanian aristocratic revolt neutrality. Well, that's a lot of infamy, isn't it? Huh. They just attack you. Do people mind if I attack you? Yes, they will, even though they're a pariah. I suppose I could do a cut down to size war, and since 
they actually acquired all the subjects through conquest of Britain proper that would release all their subject, subjects, thus eliminating them as a global power. On the other hand, it would be nicer to take these subjects over. So let's not do that. I should form an alliance with Austria. It can be helpful to me. It's going to cost me some influence, but it should work out nicely. How about Russia? We're making money. Economy's fine. Well, until the strikes strike, no, I think we'll be fine. Egypt wants to join a customs union with us. Does it mean you want to be my protectorate yet? Well, no. But why not? Aren't you friendly? You are. So, so look at this. Oh, you you do want it. Just, uh, yeah, just need to not be at war. All right, let's make sure to see when Egypt is out of the war. What is this? France versus Italy. What is this war over? Wait a minute. Next Fran... What? Oh, I get it. It's the revolution in France, but they're still in the war, just fighting Italy right now. France won the revolution, and they just... there's nothing else to gain here. They just uh, want to beat each other up. But why is Egypt in this war? Let's uh, make sure to not miss the opportunity to make Egypt a subject. Just need to find the right moment when they are no longer at war. Doesn't really look like they are at war because there are no allies in this. So I don't really get it. Mm, might be a bug. Maybe when the war ends, everything will be fine. Italy is winning. Hm, curious. Rousing speech captivates the public, so we have not enacted it yet. Damn it. I'll push this as quickly as possible. Low market access in Congo Orientale. Which one is this? Oh yeah, we let them be separated. Am I building anything here? Let's not. And downsize and just leave this without any buildings. You guys can just uh, do your own thing. When they get uppity because of that, they might. Hey Burundi, we need to make you a puppet. 4.9 infamy. My mind just to get a connection to the market. Are guaranteed by anyone? No, you're not. How many people do we have here? Well, quite a bit. And severe malaria. We well, could just create a puppet here. What is my infamy now that I abandoned the colonies? Very low. You know what? Let's puppet Burundi. Everyone will join this war. Gold rush. Spread the word. Add war goal. Reparations, please. Mobilize. One army is enough. The dream. Yeah, it's fine. Are you going to sway anyone to your side? Probably not. Oh, and ban slavery. Just to stick it to them. I could sway Portugal. What would you want, Portugal? I mean, I don't need you, but I'll offer obligation. No, thank you. Oh, someone joined them, actually. Coley? I thought that was decentralized. Can I pop up them too? Yeah, sure. While we're at it, mobilize more forces. It cost me some infamy, but not as much as one colonial uprising, so. And they're actual countries with actual, you know, structures. Egypt, please no longer be at war. Egypt is still in this war somehow. They're not fighting over anything anymore. Hm, let's bankroll Switzerland because we don't have an obligation with them. All discovered in La Plaza. Is this my province? Peru, Bolivia. It is my subject. Can I force them to build oil rigs or something? Well, they might do it on their own because there is demand for oil. How much oil though? Here, how much oil? Well, 30 is the same that I have. Please build some. Now they got someone else involved. Buganda. Where is Buganda? Here. Do we want yet another small puppet? to GDP. One million, it's not a lot. I am, but I am reputable. Hmm. Seven uh, infamy. I can afford it. Although it's uh, kind of riding on the edge. Do you have any interesting goods? Well, you do have some industry. Let's wait a bit. Maybe someone else will join. What's this? Nejd and Britain. Automatic bottle blowers in glasswork. Here you go. Our income is positive, even though we are subsidizing railways. All right, let's get that puppet going. And more reparations, and more war reparations. Zeppelin's cool. Right, nobody else joined yet, so also ban slavery in both of them, because I can. China banning slavery in African countries. Why not? Just ordered some railways. Let's prioritize them because of low market access. Wait, well, Austria's also got to get involved in this, even though I don't really want them to. Should I bankroll them? Yeah, not necessary. I need radios later. Can we please enact it already? The strikes are looming. Egypt, are you at peace? No. Stop bankrolling Denmark. Great flood. Food industry throughput decreased. Yeah, sure, it's just one province. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, mobilize everyone, please. It'll be faster. And this guy, I think I lost him because he was busy doing an expedition. Then the expedition ended and he's still busy. I'm not using all my troops. Some are on reserves. Didn't even give them a general yet. Well, there was no need for it. France and Italy are still at it. They must just not like each other very much. Secession movement, Patagonian. Oh, knock yourself out. If that happens, I'll kill them. Ironclads, how expensive are those? Let's do extensive military shipbuilding. That might fix it. And what has started, it's a very quick one. Infamy is a bit... Eh, but it is decreasing quickly. Oh, Württemberg broke my alliance by abandoning me. Okay then, 
didn't really care about them that much anyway. War is done. Now they'll become my subjects, help me a little bit, and give me access to this territory. Shouldn't have demolished the building, and please succeed in enacting landed voting. Come on. Thank you. Excellent. Now we are, well, we're an empire, but we should be a constitutional empire. Yes, excellent. There's going to be an election soon, isn't there? Do we want to start... If I reshuffle now, there'll be some more radicals, but I have so many radicals. We need to start doing... Well, multiculturalism is also nice, but first we need... Where is it? Regulatory bodies. That is supported by trade unions and not supported by scholar officials or industrialists. Huh. But before we do anything and reshuffle, let's wait a bit. Political parties might form. And they have. Let's wait another week. All right, who do we have? Communication click, just the industrialists. And literati is revive China society. Trade unions and ruler folk want to join revive China society. Well, okay, I guess. Reform the government and I'll get you there. Then you should, on your own, join the party. Oh, what if I get the industrialists as well? Legitimacy is pretty high, but they do not like the law that I am proposing. So, um, yeah, this looks fine. Scholar officials will get out of the government on their own, damaging my legitimacy when I start enacting the law. Where is it? Regulatory bodies. Here it is. Pass this. Okay, what's the chance? It's pretty low. And scholar officials have left the government because they're angry with me. Can we actually make them like me? Minus 12. I don't think so. Oh, and our authority has gone down significantly, which makes them like me even less. That's fine. We have 56% legitimacy anyway. Uh, have you joined the party? If I add more, this would be nice, but they don't want to be in the government. How about the armed forces? No. And the industrialists would actually increase legitimacy, but they don't like this law, so they would decrease the chances. This is fine. And election. Who has a chance? Revive China society has the bigger chance. Good. Excellent, even. They are the ones who I want to be ruling. Now, one problem I have with this party is this picture. I do hope it doesn't come to this. You guys still fighting? No. I can make Egypt a protectorate. Let's. Another one roped into our protection scam. And capitulation has happened. And let's begin damaging relations with Egypt, my new protectorate. Who's next? And Greece is almost there. And Brazil, what are your ideologies in the government? Perhaps I could actually make it happen. If I got... No, I have trade unions and intelligentsia, so both and they are a constitutional empire as well so i can't really get more from ideology than we already have unless i get rid of the rural folk somehow should have checked it before reforming the government actually they were not in the party yet capitulation is that all of them almost all of them yeah the puppets are going to be much better than our colonies no rebellions for one glass oh now i don't have steamers. Oh, I just need more shipyards, don't I? What else do I need? Glassworks. Am I building glassworks? I'm not actually building glassworks. I should. Okay, good. My authority is negative, but actually, that's fine. I don't want to get rid of my taxes, you see. Come on, move faster. Shiba, are you still at war? Yes, you are. France, after all the revolutions and stuff, France is no longer a great power. If France want to be my protectorate, I can invade France and make them a puppet, just like this. Getting all the infamy, but I can. It would be so cool. Maybe I should. I mean, the protection scam is... I don't really care about it anymore. It might be a unique opportunity, you know, that, now that they're so weak. That would be something, wouldn't it? 87 million GDP. Large armed forces. What is this? Count British Republic down to size. Grand Duchy of... This is actually something I need to pay attention to. Because if they succeed and Britain is cut down to size, they will uh, release their subjects. The same subjects that I actually intended to steal from them. So we need to hope that Britain wins this or declare our own war in Britain. And actually I might need to do that, which would be pretty terrible because I don't really want to do that right now. Oh, Japanese shogunate abandoned Russia. You no longer have a friendship with them. You still won't be my protectorate. Let's see who gets involved in this because if it's just Russia, Britain should be fine. But if there are more countries involved, which might happen, so even Italy is leaning towards them, then I might actually have to attack Britain right now. Russia backs down. Okay, good. Cut down to size is just uh, reducing their strength. I don't need that. I need to steal their strength for myself. But I'm just not ready yet because my scam has not been completed. A radical expansion. What is this? Revive China society gets more momentum or less. More. I like them. Ah, money. The Baltic play started. What is this? Cut down to... S no. Don't do this. No, why? Damn you, Austria. Um... Okay, abandon Austria. I mean, I want to fight Britain, just not yet, and not for this. 
so happy when Russia backed down. Britain no longer views me as a rival. Now oh, they're happy because I abandoned them. Uh, the war against them, that is. And once again, if it's just Austria, they might survive. The more people join, I will need to act, sadly. And I don't want to act. We well, ne neutrality in this one. The Ripper. Gruesome murders. Well, that's unfortunate, but we do have a nice police institution which should take care of that. Let's have a look, institutions. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I don't think Austria will back down. Election. Revive China Society has won. Who's in the government? Revive China Society. Uh, school officials are angry. I could get the industrialists in. I don't want to. I could get the armed forces in. Do we want to do that? Not really. I don't need them for anything, at least not now. Yeah, this is good. This is fine. Let it be. I am resisting the urge to sing let it be i'm still resisting it ah i have resisted come on austria back down it's not worth it polish migration to quebec actually can austria even damage them sufficiently british fleet is much bigger oh no it's not british fleet was much bigger but then they had a civil war which destroyed it austrian fleet is bigger this is unfortunate france declare a rivalry do we want to do that yeah yeah, we do. This will escalate into war, won't it? East India declares neutrality. Yeah, yeah. Art silk. Synthetic plants. Let's produce it. Everybody declares neutrality. Do I need to intervene? Now, I am worried that Austria will win and it would make transferring East India Company to me invalid. It would be terrible. However, I really want to take care of my internal stuff before I fight them. Let's just hope Austria loses, although they are stronger. Right, can we please pass this soon? So the general strike is looming. Brazilian talent. I don't need anyone, and that would actually cost me the obligation I have of them. And we're so close to making them a protectorate. Would be nice to do it. No, I don't need him. Is that Afro-American uprising? Not my problem. Follow other advice. Ottomans want an alliance. Let's see. Ah, oh, they're doing defend the borders. Still, so no protectorate for me there. So no, I'm not agreeing to analyze with you. Oh, I need to bankroll them because I don't have an obligation. 18% success chance. It's not that bad. Disastrous. Oh, I can still delay this for 30 days, can't I? Let's delay it. Is that colonial stuff? Not my problem. We now have regulatory bodies. Excellent. Oh, that's wonderful. So general strike is terrible, but actually it does not affect me. And strike keeping promises. Uh, we can get, well, a lot of loyalists. Interest group attraction 25% or interest group approval. Let's to take the second one. And you can still reform the government for free, so let's do that. I'm gonna get the industrialists into the government. That's gonna increase our legitimacy quite a lot. And new reforms await. Now, what do we wanna do? Command economy is a very interesting proposition. Most of them don't like it though. Maybe later. Proportional taxation would actually increase my income, really? Scholar officials will hate it completely. I mean, maybe, not graduated, but proportional. Yeah, that's interesting. We could do public health insurance, decreasing our mortality, nice. Let's start with multiculturalism. It's endorsed by almost everyone and it will help with rebellions. Let's get Spain on our customs union. That's a nice income, isn't it? Well, another rebellion in Lusitania. You guys really are not good at this, are you? Mm, fine, I'll mobilize my generals. Not all of them, though. So, Britain, can you defend yourself against Austria? Nobody has landed yet. If they can defend themselves, that's actually great for me. Ah, oh, extra taxation. Cool. Concrete fortifications. We have invented zeppelins, so the skyscraper that's going to be built is going to be a mooring port for a zeppelin. Ah, one billion GDP. That's seven targets of my scam that are going to be mine soon. Well, nine if you count the Netherlands and Peru Bolivia, who we got earlier. It's pretty effective. Royalism is um, a bit better. Yeah, we need our internal affairs to be in order before we do anything else. Raising concerns. Rule of folk versus industrialists. Let's see who likes me. Doesn't really matter. Let's do this. Oh, damn it. Austria has actually landed in Britain. That's not great for me. Well, I gotta tell you, this means Austria will win and all the British subjects will go free. Well, Cape Colony, Canada, New South Wales and East India Company. Definitely. I don't remember what other subjects they have. They do hate me and I'm not gonna try to befriend them. How about the New South Wales, though? And maybe Canada, too. They don't hate me. Cape Colony, how British are you? Not very. Hey, maybe we can get some more scan targets. I mean, I would get them with just one war with Britain before this. But I don't want to go full aggressive just yet. We're not ready. We're almost ready. Not quite ready. Ostinian revolt. Let's crush it. Well, if there's Stenia, you better become a great puppet for me, because it's not that nice. Oh, are the Brits actually pushing Austria out? Well, if they do manage to push Austria out, that's great for me. Rip a new victims, that's unfortunate. Large investigation, please. We have negative authority, but it doesn't really matter that much. And then why do I have a truce with Sweden? They break an alliance or something? It's possible. Let's bankroll them. Again. Peace treaty. Oh, damn it. 
they managed to do it. They cut the British Republic down to size, which means Canada is independent. Wanna be a protectorate? Almost, yeah. New South Wales, wanna be a protectorate? Yeah, almost. We're almost there. And of course, the East India Company will now be a great power, and they hate me. Let's check the great power ranking. Great team. Ching, of course, Austria North. Germany, Italy, British Republic, East India Company, United States, Russia, Spain, France, and Belgium are not great powers, and but are great targets to be subjects. Well, France... I can't reconcile France, can I? Pariah? Hmm, I could attack them. All oh, right, because yeah, because this is a different France. It's a revolutionary France. Who knows? Maybe I can get some of the former British subjects peacefully. Doesn't seem likely, but uh, yeah, don't want to be full aggressive. Not just yet. We do have some discontent in the country. Actually, quite a lot. You know, the best moment to start a world war. Also, want to modernize my troops a bit more. The Brits want to improve relations with me. Oh, actually, what I should do, yeah, is get rivalry. Do I want a rivalry with Austria? No. No, we can actually be friends with them. We did break the alliance, but we don't need to be enemies. Obligation from Spain. Very nice. We're in the customs union. If you decide you don't have powerful protectors at some point, like Italy, who you have defensive pact with, uh, doesn't look likely to break. But we'll see. What is this? Is that another war? This looks like a war, but I can't see anything. Italy, are you at war with someone? Oh, you are an ally in a colonial war against France. Makes perfect sense. Peace treaty, crush revolutionary new African succession. Secession. What? What I said? New African. African American. Or Canada. You know what? If France... I could actually get France peacefully. Probably. It's unlikely, but it's possible. If I swear to protect them and then, you know, break my word. Because nobody will ally them. Because they are a pariah. So I can actually get them as a protector. I just need to, you know, make them like me. Ah. Income. So pretty. I like how we're rich now. A lot of police and we need it. Wouldn't it be cool if we could actually get France to, you know, become a subject peacefully? Well, relatively peacefully. Although well, I can just attack them. Obligation from Morocco. Well, you're very far from actually agreeing to anything. Character piece. Sure, whatever. Enactment success chance, please. Let's also improve relations with Canada and New South Wales to speed things along. Corsica, don't care. Wait a minute. Oh! I just figured something out. Because, see, I was looking at Spain. Why are you not a major power? But it says we're a subject of Great Qing. They are a subject of Great Qing. So is a customs union enough to get a cheap subject? They could just break customs union. But can I actually cheaply annex them, or rather cheaply puppet them, just from a customs union? Is that possible? Do we have someone who's in a customs union with us who we are neutral with? So and we don't mind experimenting on. Württemberg, cordial, damage relations, stop bankrolling. Who else is in a customs union with us who we could test this on? If a customs union is enough, Kiva and Afghanistan and Kokand. We'd experiment on them. Or Brazil even. Right, customs union is much easier to get than a protectorate. That would be revolutionary. Let's also do Kokand. Although they're allied to Afghanistan, so maybe Kiva? No, also a defense pact. I suppose Württemberg will be the easiest to test this. But if this works out, that's gonna be... Well, pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, also Sweden is in a customs union with us. We have a truce, so we can do anything about that. Amicable. Denmark. 66. Ottoman Empire. Friendly. Because if a customs union is enough, this changes everything. Mechanized farming. Tractors. Let's use them. Get People richer, let's do that. We got fortifications. Now I think we're gonna do NCO training because it doesn't require oil and we won't really have oil for a long time. Tanks do require oil. Obligation from Sweden. Ah, the Qing market. But who else do we have a customs union with who we could use? Testing. Revolutionary Ossetania is done against the odds. Enforced segregation? What? No, no. Wittenberg, how quickly is this? relation being damaged very slowly oh will this end on its own if we're no longer cordial or i could just expert diplomats to get my answer immediately 10 infamy no triple Italian stuff not my business maybe it's worth getting 10 infamy just to know probably not ah money what is this france fighting italy again and the craft excellent if a customs union is enough i've been wasting so much time obligation from Switzerland, cordial, 20, oh sorry, that's Mexico, Switzerland, friendly, can't access, union. South Africa, 1.5 million GDP, uh, I don't think it's worth my efforts to get them as a subject. Stop bankrolling them. Wait, is that another revolt in Ossetania? Really? It's the third, it's the third or fourth revolt in Ossetania. They're, they're actually terrible at this. Can't wait to conquer them. Something in South Africa, we don't care. Nasht, we don't care. Belgium must have a defensive pact. Well, I don't want that. Ripper, we got him. Extra authority. And we have multiculturalism. Excellent. Let's have a look at our politics. It's fine. There will be much less unrest. Now, mm, the literati are unhappy. Well, they'll deal with it. What are the laws? 
should we pass? Proportional taxation would actually give me a lot of money to radicalize the scholar officials. Honestly, it wouldn't really mind it that much. With <laughs> no state. And no. We might do stuff like right of assembly. You know what? Without proportional taxation, where is that? If it works out, it's gonna give us a lot of cash. Proportional taxation. It's endorsed by trade unions and it is despised by industrialists and scholar officials. Let's try it. That's a lot of money. So actually Spain cannot become a great power because they are in our customs union. Radical Occitania. Yeah, whatever. I send my troops. If they arrive there in time and they're on their way, then we'll be victorious. Oh, Bavaria. Relations have been reduced. You're still my protectorate. Oh, I have a, an active play so I can't do anything. But I actually intend to invade them. I don't really have anywhere to invade them from, do I? We need to befriend Austria or North Germany. Or Ally Württemberg, who I'm actively trying to decrease relations with. Huh. You know what? Um, who should we start with? I'm actually gonna get Bavaria up again because I wanna invade Württemberg from Bavaria. Oh, I have an obligation with New South Wales. Cordial, 40, that's a lot. But we could use that too check my theory. Although in that case I can just keep improving relations and make them a protectorate proper, so it's probably worth a waste of uh, an opportunity to try it on them. We're going to try them, try that on Württemberg. Right, Bavaria likes me again. So I got balked with Bavaria, hadn't it? I might need to exit to the menu because I'm at cordial but the game seems to think I'm at poor relations. Let's see if exiting the game and returning to it fixed things in Bavaria. No, it didn't. I can't allow a protectorate. I call them into a war. So I use them on Württemberg and then use Württemberg on them. Yeah, I don't know. Police brutality. Let's lower the institution. It will go back up on its own. I mean, not on its own. I have to click it. It's not like it's a lot of work to click it. What I need is an obligation from Canada so I can make a customs union with them quickly and have my answer. Greece wants an alliance. Greece, where are we with you? No, I don't want an alliance with you. All right, so Bavaria will not be my ally. I can't attack from their territory, so let's go back to damaging relations with them. Things are a bit chaotic. Aren't they? Oh, if I do a lot of trade with Canada, will they want to be in the customs union? Canadian market. Let's set up some basic trade rules with Canada. It doesn't really matter if they're profitable or not. I just want to see if it impacts the customs union willingness. If it does, we can cheese it quite a bit. Now I can actually import quite a lot of oil from them, which is nice. Well, the more reason to make them a subject. Let's import and export everything we can to and from Canada. It is not a profitable endeavor, but profit is not what we're after. All right, Canada. Do you want the customs union now? It does affect it, so maybe we can convince them. Let's stop improving relations, but keep bankrolling them. Maybe we can get an obligation, then they will have to join. Also, will the trade routes actually increase in volume? We'll be able to invade Ashanti once we're no longer in another one. Of us sitting in many wars. We've constructed a skyscraper. It's gonna be some prestige, isn't it? Oh yes. Obligation from Belgium. Stop bankrolling. The trade agreement actually helped with the customs union. Let's get the trade agreement. See if it changes their willingness here. It does not affect it. Proposal for trade agreement with New South Wales. Oh, we have an obligation with them. Amicable relations, which is 50. Sure, I'll do a trade agreement with you. Should I send more troops to Acetania? Yeah. Just to get rid of it quickly for this entire situation. Obligation from Canada. Been waiting for this. All right. Uh, cordial relations. That's 29. We're going to invite them to a customs union with an obligation. Stop bankrolling and begin damaging relations. We'll finally know. Philanthropy. Ooh, this is nice. Loyalists increasing. So now Canada and us have a customs union. Although Ossetania is a terrible subject to have. Maybe things will be better if they're a puppet. At least they'll be giving me cash. Now, damage relations with Canada a bit and we will finally know. Building up a war chest. Oh, I should also build stuff. What are we missing? Oil, of course. Electricity, furniture, coal, dyes, glass, all those things. Mostly electricity, apparently. Some more power plants. I'm considering just abandoning Occitania right now. I should also get some more generals because I have armies in reserves. I can promote those generals. I'm gonna have a couple of medium-sized ones, I think. All right, that's fine. Promote one, that's another. And promote, and promote, and promote. Do we still have troops in reserves now? I don't think we do. How about I just mobilize all of them? Having many smaller ones is necessary for larger wars where you have a lot of front lines. It's gonna be a bit of clicking, isn't it? Oh, we have zero infamy. How did I miss this? Uh, what should we do? What should we do? Well, we should invade someone. Hmm. We'll just stay at zero for a moment. Just destroy them, please. Lusitania is such a terrible subject to have. Being at zero infamy is essentially a waste. But I'm testing something. Afro-American migration. And the turn of the century. Greek obligation expo- Oh, we had an obligation with you. How long is this going to take? Are there any Ossetanians left? With so much war going on there. Hmm. 
Moldavian obligation expired, and we do have a customs union. All this information is going to be very useful, eventually. Proportional taxation, excellent. That should make me even richer. Right, what's next? Do we want to do protectionism? Maybe. We have mercantilism now. It's not a significant change. Hmm, how about the rights of women? This will radicalize the scholar officials a lot. Do we care? Well, not particularly. 5% workforce ratio, 10% workforce ratio, 15% workforce ratio. Should I do that? Yeah, why not? We'll have more workforce. Oh, wait a minute, is that the best choice though? Laws, rights of women. Yeah, yeah, that's the best option. What is this? They're attacking Württemberg. I need Württemberg to test stuff. Oh well, we're not a protectorate, so I'm not going to do anything about this. Mm, should we bankroll Austria? Yes. And improve relations. I need them to like me and have an obligation so that I can invade Bavaria from there. More importantly, I need Ocitania to die. He might just be next. Yeah, let's uh, declare neutrality on this. Oh, it's oh, it's actually going to be Germany versus Austria. Cool. Population finally. All right, now we can do stuff. Make a puppet. Yes. Or should I wait? Can I do multiple at once? Probably. Make a puppet. Can I do that to Württemberg? What's your relation with me? It's cordial. Not good enough. Before we do anything, does anyone, does anyone want to be a protectorate? No. Let's uh, start with Mexico. Ooh, Nicaragua, Honduras and El Salvador are going to join. Wait a minute, are they puppets or allies? Defense pact. That's fine. Are they the richest of the ones I can attack? Probably. Yes, yes they are. Make puppet. Let's do this. I'll probably puppet the other three as well. My infamy is very low. Although before I mobilize anyone, uh, I can still start a new place, right? Can't I? I cannot. I can only do one at a time. Damn. Then perhaps I should have waited. Mobilize our generals. We're going to need the naval invasions, but we do have fleets. Infamy 9.2. Wait a minute, this generates so much infamy. They're my subject. Huh, why so much though? Because they have a high population. It's fine. We're going to sway Russia, really? Brazil wants a defense pact. Do you want to be a protectorate? Not particularly. Are you going to sway anyone? Can I puppet all of them? Not if I want to keep my infamy relatively low. Nine. So I can do 16 infamy. Let's look at GDP. Very low, low, and low. All right, let's add these two. And we'll have to pass on Nicaragua. I can get War reparations from Mexico, that'll be something. What else? More war reparations. They haven't swayed anyone. We got a fascist party, and the literati are in it. Well, goddamn. And the communications click is now getting more popular. No, no. We'll keep the revived China society. There are no active front lines, we'll have to do naval invasions. Music play, that doesn't concern me. Still cordial with Canada. And the war is about to start. Mexico. Oh, they folded. They're now a puppet of mine. Excellent, what's my infamy? 11. Very good. Who's next? Well, now I think I should wait for Canada, just so I know what's going on and what to do. Oh, and I can make New South Wales into a protectorate. Excellent, they are now a protectorate. No longer need to damage relations with Mexico, our wonderful puppet. How rich are you? You're giving me a million per year. Not great, but useful. And we get access to their market, of course. And they help us at war. Right, let's wait a month to finally know what's going on with those custom union subjects. Improved relations broken with, uh, yeah, with Austria. We have an obligation with them. We could use it to get an alliance. Don't need an alliance at the moment. I could use it to invade Bavaria, which we want to do eventually. We could invade Ashanti or Bavaria now, but I need to know what's going to happen with Canada, because that will determine my strategy. Ah, better troops. Squad infantry. I would need to produce way more radios. Let's check the market situation. I don't remember if I switched production to actually make radios. I have not. Let's start making radios. Okay, that's gonna make 3,000 radios total. Now, if I switch you to squad infantry, it's gonna require... Not that much, actually. Sure. And here? Yeah, I can... I can stomach that amount. Best artillery. Now, motorized reconnaissance requires oil, so let's ignore it. And chemical weapon specialists also do require oil. So for now, our army is as good as it can be, it seems. I mean, I can make more of it, of course. Should I try military aviation? Maybe we do have enough oil for this. I don't think we have enough for tanks. Oh, neutral with Canada. Yes, I can make puppet. But does it actually decrease the infamy? It doesn't. Okay, now we know. All right, so Customs Union doesn't let you make puppets this way. Okay then, stop damaging relations, start improving them and bankrolling them again. So we can make them a protectorate. Bavaria, do we attack them? Who would join us? Potentially Austria. Though well, they are busy, aren't they? And we should wait for this war to be over. Let's do Ashanti. Make puppet. Not a lot of infamy. Do you have any friends? Not really, no. Mobilize our generals. Let's see if we have enough radios for all of them. We'll probably be suffering a radio and telephone shortage soon. I will have to check on that. I actually do have a front line with them. Oh, Kokan, yeah. Um, I was checking the thingy. I no longer need to be damaging relations with you. Do I need to improve them? Uh, no, you won't agree anyway. How about the Ottomans? They're almost ready, which means they might never be ready. Same goes for Denmark and France, although I can attack them normally. But uh, 
It's cool that being in a customs union with me prevents Spain from actually becoming a great power. Oh, someone joined. Russia, really? Can I sway someone? Well, I could just beat up Russia. I did not expect that. I don't have a lot of infamy. Change our general's orders. We'll figure it out. We can get Portugal to join, but they have almost no troops. I'll just do it myself and beat the Russians up. Now, the big question is, is it time to start accruing infamy? That means we can beat Russia up. Can Russia abandon them still? They are fearful even though they're supported by Russia. I have their obligation to... Why can't I sway you? Austria owes an obligation to Great Qing. They do. Hmm. France want to join? No, you do not. Only Portugal wants to join. But they have no armies, almost no armies. Oh well, I just have to deal with that myself. What should I take from Russia for them daring to oppose me? Right, the real big question is... No, oh, Austria was bankrupting me, really. The real question is, do we go full-on infamy right now? Start attacking people not caring about infamy. If so, I can take quite a bit from Russia. Is it time for that yet? Well, it is 1901. What can I take? What's a subject? Finland. I could get Finland. How big are you? How rich? Relatively rich. That's a personal union, right? Yeah, well, I would get Finland. The great country. Anything big? Return state. Togo. It's relatively cheap. Yeah, sure. Oh, no. Ashanti would return it. No, no, no. I want them as a subject. I wonder what I can take from Russia. We could do a regime chain in Russia. And war operations definitely would be worth it. Conquer state from Russia. That's quite a bit of infamy to do this. What do you think? Should we beat the Russians up? I think we should. I think infamy be damned. It will stop me from doing a bunch of stuff, but it will also... Well, I will also lose my shackles that are stopping me from doing a bunch of stuff. Stop damaging relations with Bavaria. Stop improving relations with France. Canada. Yeah, that won't be necessary either, but you can keep improving them. I still need more electricity. Oh, really? Oh, I'm still building the power plant. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, coal mines. Battalions in reserve. Where? What have I missed? North China and South China need promotions. There we go. North China HQ. Did I promote the right one? I don't think I did. It's difficult to do while at war. All right, they'll just be in reserves. I've decided to not go full infamy just yet. So it's a pity I can't sway any major powers. I could form an alliance with Austria, but that wouldn't sway them with it. Should I abandon women's because the scholar officials are very angry. You know, I want to do it because it increases my workforce dramatically, but I'm not sure it's going to end well. No, I'm going to, I'm going to cancel it. At least for now. I'm going to cancel it and wait for radicalism to go down. Then we can do it again. Now, so if I'm not going full on infamy, let's see how much we can do. We can do eight and a bit. Grand Duchy of Finland, that's a lot of infamy. No. What if I conquer the state? Hmm, how about something in Africa? Look, what is this? Gabon. That's Katanga. This is the Russian Katanga. No, it's not. This is Equatoria. This is Katanga. Angola. Bas Congo. It's also expensive in terms of infamy. I think it's a bit excessive. Still, if I can't do that, how about return Togo? Do we want them to return Togo? Well, it's not a lot of infamy. Let's have a look at this. I guess I could take Togo. Although, it will still be mine. Kind of. I could conquer Ghana and return Togo and just annex them this way. I actually like having lots of puppets. We don't have to manage the territories directly. So, if I'm not going full on infamy, I definitely want war reparations from Russia. It's going to be quite a bit of money. And it would be good to cripple them a bit. How about we force them to liberate a subject? Oh no, sorry. Maybe release. Liberate a country. Like this. That doesn't actually cost me any infamy. It would be nice if it showed me which provinces would be included in that. Okay, I'd like them to liberate Siberia, but which provinces would that take directly? Can I see it here, maybe? Oh, maybe I could force them to release Mongolia. That would be nice. Let's try and force them to liberate Siberia and Yakutia. How much infamy to conquer Alaska? Too much. Who else could we liberate from them? That's relatively close to us. I'm not sure what that would be. Can't even find it anyway. Tungus. How about we do a regime change in Russia? Oh, that actually costs me infamy. Mm. No. Perm would be somewhere here, right? Maybe Kazan. And we can liberate Kazan twice. For some reason, I cannot sway them. What if I wait a bit? Maybe they'll change their attitude. Because the escalation is paused for a moment. Do you want to damage Russia? Oh, did I send them all here? Why is my legitimacy so low? Ah, an election is coming. We'll reshuffle. Who won? Okay, let's have a look. We want to keep the, uh, you know, revive China party. How about we get rid of the fascists? 58 legitimacy. What if we get rid of the industrialists instead? 47. This dude is an ethno-nationalist. It would be good to not have him in the government, wouldn't it? And again, I can't confirm it like this because these guys don't want to be in the government. So I could keep it like this, but then we have a higher position strength. You know, let's just keep this up party in the government, maybe. And again, yeah, they don't want to be in the government anyway. What if I just don't do anything and keep the government as is? 32. Let's keep the fascists for now. I might get rid of them later. Yeah, I need to slow down with the law changes. Right, anybody want to join? 
Portugal is leaning towards me. Nobody else seems to want to stick it to Russia. Or should only accept if they owed me an obligation. Wait a minute, I have an obligation with them. So why not? This makes no sense to me. And I can try and sway France, even though they have no thing that I would accept. I cannot sway Austria because they owe me an obligation. If I absolve the obligation, will they now be swayable? Yes. Why can't I sway them if they owe me an obligation? And see, and they would only accept an obligation. Doesn't that seem a bit silly? All right, I'll do it alone. Whatever. Probably shouldn't have wasted the obligation. Right, what else should we release from Russia to make their life difficult? Oh, Portugal, what do you want? An obligation? No. Right, let's do Kazan. Tungus. Tungus or Kazan? Sure, let's do Kazan. What can I do more? Liberate Grand Duchy of Finland. How about that? All right, back down. I don't want to fight Russia. Revolution? What the hell? Why? Why are you so angry? We are not that angry. Maybe I can placate them a bit. Shouldn't have moved the industrialists out of the government. They want me to restore per capita taxation. I guess I can attempt it and then torpedo the efforts because I don't want per capita taxation because it would make me less rich. So I definitely don't want a revolution to fight. I would be rich under both tax laws. All right then. You are fearful. Please surrender. I really don't want to fight Russia. It's annoying to fight Russia. Oh, I should have asked for Sahalin. Ah, damn it. Oh, well, maybe next time. Yes, war has broken out. Revolution is going down, so it's fine. Hmm, Austria is super friendly. Oh, if I had an obligation on Moldavia, I could make them a protectorate. Let's get one. So the war has broken out. Have I taken Sahalin yet? Looks like it. Will I need conscription? I hope not, because it's very expensive. Am I stockpiling gold yet? Because I'm too rich. I should probably expand our construction capacity or lower taxes but i'm thinking expand construction capacity well if per capita taxation returns i intend to torpedo this um, but if it returns we're going to be less rich but still rich so how are you doing in ashanti you probably sent too many troops here you'll be fine south cameroon go there was that Nejd? Nejd is always fighting someone. Was that South Cameroon, Equatorial Frontier? Yeah, yeah. I don't have people on all the fronts. That's fine. Let's move them. It takes them forever to move, doesn't it? You can actually teleport generals. I don't feel uh, I don't feel right doing it. But I guess I should show you if you don't know that already. You get a general. You send him on a defend order somewhere. Like say, I want to move him here, and then you immediately send him on an offense order in the same place, and he'll teleport. That interpretation of dreams. Ooh, we can get a new literati leader. Maybe someone who's not a nationalist and a fascist in general. Will you stop being the fascist party now that I've uh, appointed a nihilist? We're doing well in Africa against Russia. We're not doing so well in Russia against Russia, but we are advancing. So the attack in Ashanti could be going better. I don't have a rivalry with France. Am I stockpiling gold? Yeah, that's not great. How about we temporarily lower taxes to make people happier? That should equal everything out, more or less. We're gonna be happier for the standard of living. It's actually pretty high already. No obligation from Austria. Nice. I can actually use it. Should I make an alliance? Could be helpful. Let's use the obligation to get an alliance with Austria. This is going perfectly well. And so is this. Now we just need to convince them to surrender to me. 1.1 billion GDP. What's this? Defensive pact from Sokoto. Are you ready to be subject? No. Oh, Denmark. How about we make you a protectorate? That will be so nice. And Sweden too. But do I have enough infamy? Yes, yes I do. That is actually excellent. Did you change your strategy? No, so why not? Or rather, why? Yeah. Ideological similarities, as must be. Friendly, genial, power projection, defender borders, rank, and ideology similarities. Right, cool, yeah. Sweden and Denmark become my subjects. This is excellent. Subjugation accepted from Denmark and... Come on. Refuse? Why? Relations are cordial. Oh, so where's my obligation? Did it just get wasted? Okay, cordial relations. That's because relations got reduced when I got Denmark. Damn it. Should have gone for Sweden first. Let's improve them faster. I need an obligation and I need good relations. Need more construction capacity, it seems. Or maybe I should have just researched arc welding. Because I'm about to have too much construction capacity again. Yeah, probably that. Let's cancel the construction sector expansion and research. What is it? Arc welding. 29 months. Is the standard of living going up now that I've reduced the taxes? Not really. What if I go to medium taxes for a while? Are you guys going to be happier? We'll get more loyalists. Oh, and we can do Brazil too. Well, we could if we had an obligation, damn it. Right, bankroll them. Is that because we have different parties in the government? Yes. That's, been, that's why. How about Spain? Can I get Spain? No, because of differences. How about Wales? Also no. Hey, Brazil, Denmark and Sweden, that's grand. If it can happen. You're progressing in Ashanti? Yes, yes you are. You're progressing in Russia? Also yes. I need an obligation from Brazil and I need an obligation from Sweden. And all will be well. Advance front. Battles all around. 
And there's just one front left. I might do some naval invasions around. But not right now. Ooh, run out of stuff to build. Let's check the market. Furniture, of course. Oil, coal, glass, steel. Do we have iron to make steel? Yes. All right, so coal, definitely. Furniture, oil, glass. Oh, I'm already building lots of coal mines, so maybe coal will fix itself. Even more electricity. But I just built some, so maybe they're still hiring. Do we have anything that's uh, expensive goods? Yes, glass and telephones. Let's work on that. Sold by peasants, as usual. And electronics industries. More railways. Ossetania is neutral, finally. I'm gonna need to conquer them, because they're problematic. And also, I'll be able to invade France from there. And Spain, when I so choose. Loyalism is growing a bit. We'll increase the taxes back. Just not yet. I think that I wasted my obligation. Don't do two simultaneous actions. That was silly. Oh, I can do Brittany. Well, I can also do Bavaria, because I actually created an alliance with Austria. So I can do a lot of stuff. Just need to do it. Military goods, ironclads. More shipyards, please. I'll need more electricity very soon. Or should I say even more? Revolutionary Nejd. I feel like Nejd is fighting like ten, every 10 years. All right, we're advancing in Russia. Nice. You guys want peace? Russians want peace. But um, I don't want to fight Russia to the death. So let's make sure to send a peace deal right before Ashanti wants to surrender on their own. Analytical philosophy. Ooh, that's even more technology. University. Ah, there you go. 347 universities, that's a bit much. Celebrate, everyone. Now, if I stop this, will you be radical again if you abandon that course? Yeah, I'm just gonna try and torpedo this if I can, because I do prefer my current taxation method. But I don't want a revolution, and my loyalism is too low. Wait, why is it going down? Oh, it actually progressed, which is something I don't want. Progressing in Ashanti, okay. Ah, damn it. We're almost ready to get Brazil. If only I had an obligation at that time. In Sweden, if only I waited a couple of days. Oh well. We are winning, but if we let Ashanti capitulate, then we'll have to essentially capitulate Russia to get everything. And I don't need everything. I'll choose something. What new diplomatic plays are those? French East Angola. Don't care. And Nesht. Don't care. Why is the standard of living going down? Are my taxes too low? It's possible. Let's go back to medium. Sorry, high. Not very high. See, in Russia, you can't rival Great Ching. Portugal's neutral. Good. Can I get another obligation from Austria, maybe? Is there any for me? Good. Norwegian migration. Well, they're about to capitulate. Uh, if they're at minus 100, will that be an automatic capitulation? Or do I get to send a peace deal? Maybe I get to send a peace deal. So definitely want to pop it Ashanti. And how much can I get from the Russians? How about we liberate Siberia and another place? No. How about war operations? Hmm. What if I wait for them to capitulate? All right, we pop it at Ashanti. How about now? We definitely want peace, war operations. Or we can liberate two things or get war, war operations and one thing. Do we want to release Finland? Well, they are a separate country. I think I'd rather liberate Yakutia and Siberia just to cut them up. It will look better. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, Russia. You have been beaten up. Woo! Where's Yakutia? Well, two things. I wasted something by trying to release Yakutia, which is apparently inside Siberia. So I did waste something in the peace deal. Uh, number two, Siberia would be nice to have you. Want to be protectorate? Mm, you will. Or I could just invade you. How much would that cost me? Well, I can't because we have a truce. Uh, sure, let's uh, bankroll them. They like me already, they're gonna like me even more. Switzerland. Let's use our obligation to make you a protectorate. Alright, we're at peace. I should start a new place. Um, right. Switzerland, are you accepting? Well, they should. It said they would. Anybody else? So, who's next? We can do Bavaria, but I need a sure ally, so I would need Austria to owe me an obligation for this to work. I can do Portugal, Ossetania, or Brittany. I'm thinking Ossetania. Also, let's uh, stop reducing relations with you and... Well, we'll damage them with you a bit. Yeah, how about Ossetania? Make puppet. 6.9 infamy. How much do we have now? 14.5, but Switzerland has not yet accepted our subjugation. Right, now they did. How much do we have? 20. So Ossetania is going to be... How much again? 6.9. Too much. How about Brittany? 1.8. But Spain would defend them. And Portugal would defend Ossetania. So we can get two at once. Whoa, and a lot of people will defend Portugal. Do you have uh, you have defense pacts? And then alliance with Ossetania. All right, you know what? I, I need to do two at once. But to do it, I actually need to wait until my infamy reduces a bit. So uh, I've already reduced the relations with Ossetania enough, so let's stop that. Don't really think we'll have enough time to make France a friend, will we? Yeah, let's uh, 
stop improving relations and actually rival them. That will give me more influence. And rival Russia. All right, that's a lot of influence. Who else don't we care about? Siberia doesn't have GDP, almost none. But they have a lot of territory and it looks nice. I suppose I don't need to be improving relations with Sweden. Oh, it will break on its own in a moment. I also don't need to be bankrolling Wales because it's maxed out already. Same goes for the Ottomans. See, I'm looking for ways to increase our influence. Uh, same actually goes for Spain. Well, I should probably form an alliance with them. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? I should get an alliance with Spain and then attack Occitania and Portugal from their territory. So let's keep bankrolling them just to make sure our relations are maxed out. Moldavia. Powerful protectors. So this really won't work, most probably. Defense pact with Wallachia. That's that's powerful protectors for you. Huh. This needs some tweaking, it seems. All right. More declared interests. Are there any more interests to declare? I doubt that. There are none. I chose wrong at the peace deal, but I've really seen Siberia. It looks good. When I'm fighting Portugal, I should probably take this state back. Should I go back to super high taxes? 1.3 million. Gotta love that. Low market taxes, more railways. Rubber. I need more rubber. Oh, I don't think I did. And there are some battalions in reserves, apparently. Promote a general and promote a general. Now, if I stop this and then start enacting per capita taxation again, will they technically still be placated and I can just repeat doing it? Maybe. Expand gold mines on your own. Actually, yeah, we do have places for gold mines. Hey, you just expand them because I'm gonna forget. So I clicked two. Is it still automatically expanding them after that? Yes. Good. My pops are mostly happy. Good. Rubber. Need more rubber. Actually, not that many rubber places left. Should I just max it out? How many workers does a rubber plantation take? 5k. That's actually too many plantations. Only slightly too many. I have some extras. Oh, can I subsidize the whaling business? I don't think so. I'm gonna just maximize construction everywhere. I know there are no peasants there, but let's hope they migrate in or whatever. They really need the oil. Still need more electricity and coal. And furniture and dyes. Dye plantations. Should I just build all the coal mines I can? Especially in those high population provinces. I will need the coal. And more power plants. That's enough of a construction queue, isn't it? At least for now. State in turmoil. I know, I know. Trying to work on it. Oh, Marina Kingdom. How much to make you a puppet? 18.7, that's a lot. I completely missed Madagascar and it's a separate kingdom. And they're actually befriending Portugal. We'll make sure that Occitania is the main target. I don't need all those other countries participating. Greece wants a defense pact. No. Do you think I have enough construction capacity? So how's my arc welding? Still a little while. Why are all the parties unhappy? Oh, now the opposition is happy. Do you guys want to join? We could replace the fascist party, who are unhappy, with the industrialists, who are not unhappy. Or we could get scholar officials for more legitimacy. Let's just leave it for now. Although, who opposes this? Right, none of them are in the government, so they can't do much. Right, what happens if I cancel this? Radicalism is low. Okay, they're unhappy, but they're no longer revolutionary. So I think we're okay. Might even get you into the government to make you happier. Hmm, did I... Did my income get reduced? Germany is fighting Saxony. Don't care. Let's check this again. How much to puppet you? 7.2. And you? 13.6? Why so much? Oh, you have a large population. Okay, 13.6. And here it was how much? 7.2. So we need 21 free capacity. So we need to be at 4 infamy. We we'll need to wait, what, 3 years? That's a long time. And again, if I keep being nice, I might get some more countries. Could have gotten Sweden, damn it. Messed up. Is it time to just uh, say hello to infamy? Probably not yet. Raising concerns, industrialists. Actually, I do not want to upset the industrialists right now. I could make everyone a bit happier by reducing taxes in the sense that I would revoke some of the consumption ones. Hmm, a tax on glass would actually give me a lot of money. Not let's reduce taxes. I mean, not reduce, reduce, but revoke, so we have authority. We always get them back later. And this way we'll have some more political support. Who was willing to help Brittany again? Spain. Oh, no, 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 no. I need Spain for my other plans. Come on, Austria, I need an obligation. I could actually do an alliance with Canada. Increase our relations faster. Right, who else can I target? See, I can't target Bavaria because I can't reach them. I can target Brittany because I don't want to fight Spain. And I can target Occitania or Portugal because they're befriending each other and I would have to fight both and thus bring my infamy too high. But is it really too high? Maybe it wouldn't be that bad. That's a lot of GDP in Austenia. Good job. Well, damn it. I took a break and didn't click right on the record button. What happened? Nothing too interesting. I noticed that Occitania and Portugal no longer had the pact. That would, you know, involve them both. Uh, being involved in the war. So I attacked Occitania with Spain's help. It was quite easy. They actually folded. I didn't have to fight them at all. And then I have enough infamy left, you know, unused to do the same to Brittany. And Spain didn't help them probably because they are my ally or maybe they broke the pact. I don't, don't remember. Um, but Brittany also folded. Now, before Brittany folded, France 
had fourth revolution, I think. And Brittany is actually helping front in this, so I wonder what will happen to them. They're my puppets, but they are actually... Oh, you can see. See, from the messages here, Brittany backs down, begins mobilization. Yeah, doesn't cover Ossetania, sadly. But we have acquired subjects. And we're probably not going to be able to acquire Canada, even when our relations are friendly. Because they're now doing defend the borders, and there are ideological differences between us. Does it matter? Not that much, honestly. Oh, also, Austria abandoned my alliance. Well, didn't have actually abandon the alliance, but uh, they don't like me anymore, because I called them to wars automatically. I didn't want to call them to wars, I had to, against Ossetania and Brittany. So what now? Is it time to go full infamy yet? Almost. Maybe not full infamy. As long as we don't go over 100, it won't be that bad. Also, we might need some more troops to scare people even more. How about it? More barracks. It's gonna cost us quite a bit. We'll have to promote some generals. This should do it. And some naval bases too. Excellent. Ah, Brittany backed out of this. Good. We can target Portugal, but it's a bit too much infamy. How about Egypt? We'll be able to get them soon. I still have 30 years of the game, so I don't need to rush. Also, 1.4 billion GDP. What's this? Poland! Polish uprising, excellent. Is anybody gonna help you, Poland? I could, but I wouldn't get anything out of it, would I? Well, I do have Polish bias, because I myself am Polish, but let's, you know, play real politic. If we want to have a Poland, we will just have to release it from Germany. Looks like France is gonna get killed again. Which time is it? Yeah, let's be neutral in this. Oh, what is this? A proletariat revolt in Germany. Oh, you know what? I think I am going full infamy. Let's look at this. Which powers are great powers? France is not. Spain is not. One of the Germanys might stop being in great power after they win, which would be a great opportunity. Like France is a great opportunity. Hmm, actually, let's quickly prioritize the armies. Why? Well, because I might actually get Brazil before, you know, all that. And then they're a subject and they don't hate me, whatever happens. We'll probably have to build more munitions factories and all that with all those extra barracks. Shall I stay neutral on the German play? What's this? Is something concerning me. Denmark has a revolution. Before anything here happens, perhaps I should start a new play. Of course I will help them, but I don't want to mobilize people yet, because uh, I'm not sure what the cutoff is, but I think you can't do new plays if you have mobilized your troops. So just wait a bit. Maybe I can actually get some moves of my own going before this triggers. I of course want to defend Denmark. Arc welding! Which means I can now switch this to arc welding, which will require more steel and explosive and all that, but I have the resources, I think. And also, increase my construction capacity tremendously. Let's go to super high taxes. Oh, actually having low taxes was increasing my GDP, but this should balance it itself out. New research. I've researched most things. Which was the military aviation. Maybe I can acquire some oil somehow. Two million a week. So my GDP is rising rapidly. Is that because I had low taxes? Or will it keep rising? We'll see. Maybe I will lower taxes just to have it grow faster. And what is this? Radical Austria. All right, this is, this is a bit silly, isn't it? Well, Austria, you abandoned me. I don't feel like helping you. I could, of course, help you. I don't feel like it because you abandoned me. Well, I'm using 3000 construction capacity and still making money. So declare neutrality. This is definitely time to go full infamy. And I can still get Sweden before that. Yeah, wonderful. Six infamy, do I have enough? Just a moment longer. But because if I do this play, um, it will actually apply infamy before they consider the offer, thus making them like me less while considering said offer. That's a huge war, isn't it? We have 5.5 free infamy. How much was that again? 6.0, and that's five weeks. Can Denmark hold on long enough? Yeah, they can hold on for a moment, and then I can teleport some forces there. If we do this properly. I'll mobilize in a moment. They can fight it out for a week or two on their own, can they? All right, Sweden, you shall be my subject. Congratulations. Now accept. Oh, I'm at war now. If I'm at war and I haven't mobilized, can I still do stuff? No. Damn it. Oh, well, no big deal. We'll just crush the uprising quickly. I have to do some teleporting generals. Oh. Maybe not. There is no direct connection, is there? Schleswig is... what is it? Is it independent or something? Why is there no front line? There should be a front line here. What's going on? What are you? Are you a subject? We were in a personal union and you have not joined the war. So what we need is actually naval invasions. We have navies in reserve. Yes, we do. One, but just one. It's not important. But naval invasions, it is. Can take a moment. Nothing too huge. Go take care of it. In the meantime, Sweden, hey! Subjugation accepted, excellent. I should start subjugating while they're still fighting. Probably starting with Belgium. Will it be a protectorate yet? No. Then begin damaging relations and end their customs union with us. Goodbye, Belgium. 
That's some quick construction, isn't it? France is now red. Red France. But I need to invade Spain, France and Belgium before these wars are over. At least I should, I think. Can't really invade anyone right now, because naval invasions need to happen. I'm still reputable. Anybody else want to join? Uh, you would, if I had an obligation. So would New Granada, actually. Hmm. My plans are coming to fruition. Yes, you can have a promotion. Ah, our amazing... <laughs> Just look at this. Our amazing economy. Balance. Two million. That's what's called snowballing. Declare rivalry. I'm going to rival France. Oh, sorry, Austria. They don't like me anymore. So how about those naval invasions? 17 days. I dislike that I cannot start a war with one in effect. This is a minor skirmish at the scale we're operating. So there's no front line. Hmm. Someone will land a naval invasion at some point. And that was us. Crush them quickly so that I can go back to real work. Paved roads, cool. Spain does something. We're still allied. Oh, it's an internal affair. Nashed again. <laughs> Can you finish this quickly, please? I have countries to conquer. Well, we finished the barracks. Let's have a look. Market access, we'll deal with that in a moment. Government goods, steel and electricity. Working on electricity. Next up, steel. And then some basic resources. 2.5k only for a coal mine. Okay, so this can fit 20. This can fit almost 10. Maximized coal production. About iron. Maximize iron production. Well, not maximize, just get some more. I need for the massive amounts of steel I'm making. Some construction was scheduled. Lower the taxes a bit. People will be happier. Election. Who's gonna win? Revive China. Yeah, that's fine. I like them. 121 battalions in reserve. I will deal with that in between wars. Have you guys finished? Yes. It's gonna end in a moment. What's that? Afro-American uprising. Not my problem. And Circassia. Not my problem. A front. Do we have a front? Where's a front? Northern Transylvania is Galicia. What? Can I break our alliance? I mean, our alliance? I'm not fighting Poland. No. Your problem, Austria. Partisan papers. Revive China society, extra momentum, or more paper, even more momentum for the Revive China society. I like the Revive China society. Let's do the last one. You fight civil wars when the real threat emerges in the East. Brazil is almost ready. Just need an obligation. I'm a bit worried about low loyalty of my pops. I guess they're a bit too poor. But they're, they're not very loyal, but they're also not doing anything about it. Is that really a problem? Right, this has been a lot of deliberation, but I think we are set up. Pity we didn't get Brazil or Canada by having, you know, obligations ready at the right moment, but we did get Denmark, Sweden, and New South Wales, and Egypt. Now, actually, getting Egypt, how much infamy is that? Maybe I could do it just like this. No, it's 7.9. Portugal is... 13.7. You know what, that wouldn't trigger everybody hating me. I can still do these moves before, you know, going full infamy. I'll think about it. But I also think this is a good moment to end the video. Also, yay for Siberia. We've managed to beat Russia up, get little pieces of the world here and there, like all around France. And now that all the pieces are in place, let's just push the dominoes and watch the world fall before us. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And there's gonna be one or two more. This one didn't actually cover that much time, but it covered a lot of scheming. And I'm happy we managed to quell the internal troubles. We still don't have a lot of loyalty, so getting high infamy will also not be very nice with this. We'll get some more radicals. We also have so many radicals that it hardly matters if they're not that radical, if that makes sense. I think I'll even boost our police even more. Right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.